I was always on the border of an anaphylactic reaction, which is not pleasant. And that's hypersympathetic activation, no parasympathetic activation. I couldn't relax at all. That's an immunological response. Allergic response, yeah. So anyways, that was what seemed... Now, this, I don't like to talk about this much because it's so bloody radical and you know I don't like to propagate it, but this diet seems to have stopped all of that. I don't have psoriasis. All of the patches have gone. Yeah. My gum disease, which is incurable, and I had multiple surgeries to deal with it, is completely gone. It took three years. My right eye, which was quite cloudy, is cleared up completely. Um, what else has changed? Well, I lost 50 pounds and like instantly and kept it off. I should mention that I, I, I too am not a deep investigator of uh, nutritional science. I have my skepticism towards the degree to which it is currently a science, because like a lot of complex systems, it's very it's full of mystery uh, and full of uh, profiteers, the people that profit of different kinds of diets. But I should say for me personally, it does seem that I feel by far the best when I eat only meat. It's very interesting. And I, it's, I discovered it's, that it's a long time ago. First of all- mm -hmm. How do you discover it? Uh, so by, the discovery went like this. I started listening to ultra marathon runners about 15 years ago, and they started talking about fat ad uh, adapted running. Mm -hmm. um, so I first discovered that I don't have to run super fast to enjoy running. That in fact, I really enjoy running at a slower pace. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was like step one. It's like, oh, okay, if I maintain this something called uh, the math rule, which is a pretty low heart rate, if I maintain that, you can actually get pretty fast while maintaining a pretty slow average speed in general. Anyway, they fuel themselves on low carb diets. Mm -hmm. So I got into that. On top of that, I also they also fast often. Mm -hmm. So I discovered how incredible my mind feels when fasted, you know, people call it intermittent fasting, but- Well, that's 20, an optimization 20... of death, eh? Because <laughs> you're, it, when you fast, your body logically and obviously, if you think about it biologically is, well, what does your body scavenge first? Well, damaged tissue. So the, the and the, I know the literature on fasting to some degree, and it's it's very compelling literature. If you if you starve dogs down, I think it's twenty percent below rats too, below their optimal body weight, they live thirty percent longer. Yeah, that's a lot. Thirty percent, like it's like thirty percent. Yeah, yeah, thirty percent. Well, there there is aspect to a lot of these things that make me nervous because I always feel like there's no free lunch that I'm going to pay for it somehow. But there is a focus that I am able to attain when I fast especially when I eat once a day, mm -hmm. my mind is almost like nervously focused. It's almost like a, an anxiety, but a positive one, or one that I can channel into just like an excitement. You know, I wonder how much of that's associated with, well, imagine that that signifies lack of food, which is not that yeah. hard to imagine. Well, maybe you should be a lot more alert in that situation, right? Yeah. Biologically speaking, because you're in hunting mode, let's say, you know, not desperate, but in hunting mode, and God only knows, maybe human beings should be in hunting mode all the time. Often, but that we don't know that. So I wonder if it has uh, a, a stress on the system that long-term causes the system to doesn't, get to- It doesn't look like it. it. It seems on, in case of fasting, not. And then on top of that, I discovered that the thing I enjoy, I just don't enjoy eating fat as much. Mm -hmm. So I, I love eating meat mm -hmm. when you talk about low carb diet. So I just discovered through that process, if somewhat fatty meat, but just meat, I just feel a lot of the things that make me feel weird about food, like a little groggy mm -hmm. or like full or just whatever, uh, the aspects of food that I don't enjoy, I, they're not there with meat. And I'm still able to enjoy company. And when I eat once a day, and eat meat, at least in Texas, you could still have all the merriment of yeah, you, yeah. you have dinner with friends. Now I don't do the uh, this. You know, you have a very serious thing that that 
there's health benefits that you are very serious about. For me, I can still drink whiskey. Mm -hmm. I, I'll still do the things that add a little bit of uh, spice spice into the thing. Yeah. Now, when you completely remove the spice, it 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 does become more difficult. Yeah, it's but, more difficult socially. And Tammy seems to only be able to eat lamb, although she might be able to eat non-aged beef, and uh, that makes traveling co complicated too, yeah. right? Because well, for obvious reasons, it's like, really, that's all you can eat? Yeah, well, c'est la vie. And maybe that's a form of craziness, but 